What's going on? It's Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And today, I have a Harley Benton 450 Progressive Series bass. We're gonna get into that right after this. Kick that intro. All right, so this, like I said before the intro, is a Harley Benton uh, B450 white progressive series bass. Uh, let's talk about the makeup of this bad boy. So body is made up of alder. The neck itself is maple. There's no mention of what the fretboard uh, material is, but let's just say it's a rosewood type material. And these inlays that are in there are called Tai Chi inlays. They do kind of look, you know, yin yangish, you know, so I give them that. Okay, cool. Um, there's 24 frets on this base, so two full scales there. Uh, this is a two band control. Uh, so you have uh, volume, you have a blend here. You have a treble and bass, or bass and or a treble and bass, or a bass and treble, and uh, there is a push pull for active and passive. Uh, so when you run out of battery, you can still play, and that's a neat little ditty. Uh, this is what we got around back. It's a nine volt system, and this is where the electronics live. So uh, all in all, if I was to say what this is in the vein of, I'm gonna say that it's in the vein of the Marcus Miller M2. It's coming in even cheaper than the Marcus Miller M2, which the M2 is what, 400 bucks or so? This is actually coming in at about 150 plus shipping, so under 200 bucks, all said and done. Uh, it's humbucker setup and um, high mass bridge. Cool little thing about this bridge, and I think that's it. Okay. Cool little thing about this bridge is uh, it's already prepared for a string through the body setup. It just doesn't have the ferrules on the back. So if you wanted to string through the body, all you'd have to do is just drill down through here and then uh, drill through the bridge itself, drill straight down and then do the ferrules through the back. And then you have a string through the body uh, base if you're into that. Um, this has quick release uh, strings. So as soon as you loosen it up, boom, boom, don't have to go through uh, dedicated, very small, very annoying bridge setup. This is a thicker bridge as well. So you have more of a high mass situation going on. And uh, pickups are responsive. They are a little bit different. They're not the same shape as a traditional, um, you know, music man size humbucker. Uh, they are more streamlined. So trying to find a replacement may be a little bit difficult, but you know, with some modification, I'm sure you could do it if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, straight out of the box, it came fairly well set up and that's just my base, this is my experience. And uh, yeah, I was amazed at how well it plays straight up. And that's, it's nice. So when you don't have to do anything to a base and you can just be a good experience, you know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing that I really like, it's very sleek. It's thin, it's light. I think it's coming in at around, I'm gonna say nine pounds. They're probably gonna say something different. Um, and of course, there's no mention of how much this bad boy weighs, but it's light to me. So, uh, yeah, I talked enough. Let's get into what this thing actually sounds like. Thank you. 
this bad boy keep trouble center where it's at and uh this is on both pickups back to where it was uh, going to boost trouble so base is in the center trouble is now boosted Let's go ahead and boost both bass and treble between both pickups. Me playing with it just then, uh, and I probably logged maybe 10 minutes with this bass before I even started this recording. It grooves. It feels very comfortable. Fred edges are really nice on it, and this is 150 bucks. It's really mind blowing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing it, and it's a good thing. So this makes me think. Well, what are their five and six strings like? So who knows? That may be something that I dabble in. At $150 for this, six strings being like $180 or so. This may be the move for those that are a little bit more intricate with their playing and grooving. You know what I'm saying? So who knows? We'll see. 
Uh, you know what the you know what time it is. It's time. So let's figure this thing out. Uh, trouble in the in the middle, base in the middle between both pickups, and uh, um, yeah, let's 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 get it. You know, let's see uh, what I want to do. I don't know. check out the clips of me playing the bass um like you seen i was able to get into it fairly easy without much you know messing around or anything like that um so let's get right to it is this bass worth 151 dollars yes it's probably worth three times that price honestly uh craftsmanship is up there feel is up there Usability is up there. And in this demo, I didn't even pull the passive stuff. And what I didn't say is uh, the treble here acts like the tone in passive mode. So you have full functionality of passive and active and you get the whole control of um, if you run out of battery, switch to passive mode and you have tone control, blend and the volume. It's good to go. Um, so yeah, that being said, $151 for this bass is pretty crazy. So now that I've played this a little bit, I'm feeling like I do need to check out the six string version of this bad boy. I feel like I need to check it out. So y'all keep your eyes open for if that actually pops off this year on the channel, but possibly possibly this felt really great uh adding an extra you know inch on each side probably wouldn't be a deal breaker i'm pretty sure uh this is light adding more material makes it heavier possibility of neck diving those are all things that you you know that's why you buy a heavier strap you know so there's that but yeah that's gonna wrap it up for this uh demo and review of the harley benton B450 Progressive Series Bass. Um, yeah, y'all be saying this a few more times on the channel before it makes its way to its ultimate destination. Uh, until then, I've been Alan Brown, aka Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy.